What's up? This is Buddy from Census Fail. Uh, stay tuned for DJ Rostar up next. Hey, it's DJ Rostar. We're about to go on the bus with Census Fail. I don't know what to expect. I haven't seen Buddy in about four years, so uh, let's get on the bus and see what he's all about these days. Hey, hi, it's DJ Rostar at Bamboozle 2009 uh, with an old friend of mine. Hey. Really old friend. I've known him since he we used to uh, we used to play together at Burger King in the ball pit. Actually, That's this is Buddy from Census Fail. What's up? How you doing? How How you doing? I, however, we didn't play together in the ball pit because I grew up in Los Angeles. Nice. When you actually grew up on the East Coast. Now you grew up in uh, Long Island, and you're not proud of it, and you have no respect for the East Coast anymore. I grew up here in, in, in SoCal. What are you talking about? No, you didn't. <clears throat> no, you'd look way douchier if you did. Thank you. <laughs> How do I look right now? You haven't seen, I haven't seen you in like three years. You look, you you look, look the same. You got, you got some more tattoos yeah, I look somewhere. Good. Yeah. Um, you, look, uh, you, look, you, know, you look good, like yeah. I said before. But you didn't call me after that, the date. Dude, you, I changed my phone number. And I know, you you did. lost my that's, phone number. That's not even a joke. No, I did, and you have my old one. That's from like five years ago. We should give it out on air. No. Give out the old number. It probably belongs to like a, some old yeah. woman now. No, I'm sure. I don't, I don't remember what it was. No. My first question is of the day is, is why is my name spelled wrong on your sheet up there? Talk to our There's only here. two S's on that TJ roster on bus. Oh, I'm so and you you hurt my feelings, buddy, with three Y's. Yeah. Well, yeah. you talk to our tour manager about that. Yeah. Yeah. He looks pretty tough. I'm not yeah, gonna. Well, I'm not gonna ask him any questions. Dude, if you if you brought that up to him, he would probably just eat your face. Yeah, I hope so. Right. Hey, so let's ca let's play catch up. It's been like two or three years since yeah, we've seen you. What's gone on in three years? You've done tours. You've done yeah. albums. What what have we missed? We got, well, we got a new guitar player, Heath. That was years ago. Then we got a new bass player, Jason Black. Um, we've been on tour. We put on a, a newest, newer, new, new, most new record. Uh, in October, called Life Is Not a Waiting Room. We did a tour for that in October, and then um, we're out on tour on the Saints and Sinners tour with Hollywood Undead, uh, Haste Today, and Broken Side. Yeah, I, I heard uh, you're a huge Broken Side fan. The opposite, actually. Well, I'm actually a fan of them giving me something to be passionate about, not liking. Yeah. Well, I feel like this is the first band I've ever heard you talk about publicly. I know. Yeah. I know. We used to talk shit behind the scenes mm -hmm. off air but this is the first time you went out and said this band sucks yeah I've never really opened my mouth about bands before other than the only other band that I did make fun of was Metro Station it's that's just, an easy target it's just getting so easy to make fun of people and they deserve it they're being mean to me and all the hard work that we have done and all the hard work that all the other bands have done they're pissing on my face literally I saw the video footage. They actually did piss on your face. It sucked, man. I felt like I was raped. Yeah. What do you do? You seek vengeance. Hey, yeah, like Charles not... Bronson. Yeah, exactly. But so my question is, so we read your, your post, but has Broken Side retaliated? Have they come up to you and said, you hurt our feelings? Uh, Here's a gold chain? No. They like Heath because I think they're intimidated by him. Um, they don't the like beard. the rest of us. Um... I know that they today said that they were wanted wanted to fight us, but I don't think that they'll do that. Um, no, they haven't actually said anything. No. They actually put out some press release though. Their new record's called uh, "I'm Not Into the Music, But the Kids Like Us," and they thanked me for helping promote their band or something. So when did this start? Was it the first night of the tour? You said well, it started it many close. months in advance, getting ready to deal with the audio, you know, just the whole thing that was going to happen on the tour. So we researched it, we found out, you know, I think I like to research things I don't like so I can be educated on them. But, um, yeah, no, yeah, pretty much started the second day of tour. I mean, but gave them, well, gave them one day grace period to see if they were like really cool, exceptional human beings and they weren't, so. Did it help you at all though? Like, they, they brought in a whole new audience, I'm guessing, to the shows, right? No. Not at all? No. You know, Hollywood and Dead brings a lot of people and a lot of new, you know, great amount of people to play in front of that have never heard us. Uh, Hollywood, uh, Broken Side, not so much. No. They, there are people that are converted to like them because they're twelve-year-old girls who want to buy shirts that say "Skeet Skeet" with cum stains on them. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, very interesting if you have a daughter. Is that a real shirt? Are you making yeah. that up? No, it's a real. Oh, shirt, it actually yeah. is. Jeez. So, you know, I don't know. The thing they talk about forties a lot, and I've never seen them drink once. <laughs> I don't know, but you like Hollywood Undead. You're yeah, okay with them? Yeah, they're good dudes. 
and um, it, they were really fortunate that they, we, we kind of it, signed out to do the tour, and we'd never heard of them. Nobody really had ever heard of them, and the record had come out the same week ours did, and we kind of banked on the fact that we thought it would be a good idea because it's completely different than us, and we figured, I was like, this band will probably be successful because kids will like this. It just seems like something that I knew that people that didn't really have how do I say it in a nice way respect for music would like and I kind of wanted to play in front of those kids because we've never tried that we've never played in front of a radio crowd we've never done anything outside of touring with bands like us you know and it worked out and it was a great decision and we get to play in front of you know a couple thousand kids that don't know us every night and they're good dudes so we had a good time Question is, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing after Bamboozle? Uh, we're going to Canada and then Europe and then we do Warp Tour. So no new record this year. No. 2010? Probably. Yeah. Most. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're gonna keep going uh, into your 30s. I just have a feeling. Well, yeah. Some of us are in our 30s. Not you though. No. I'll, I'll keep being an asshole as long as I can. So who's the band on Bamboozle then you hate the most today? Would it be like uh, Asher Roth or? I don't. I know my friend Anthony from Bayside doesn't like Asher Roth, and he was trying to explain it to me, but I don't. I don't really. <laughs> I don't know much about it. Maybe. I might check it out though, just to see. I know he's a white guy that raps too. I'm gonna check it. I want to see how the people react. He says like pussy a lot, right? And shit like that. I don't think so. He just no? talks about college and drinking and partying. Really? I don't think he actually says that word in the song. So he just talks about college. That's his hit song. I love college. Is he in college? No, I think he's 24. Did he ever go to college? He did, in Pennsylvania. What college? I don't know. Probably UPenn. So he probably many. went to UPenn. Oh, yeah. Or you, some okay. fancy school. If he went to UPenn, then I'll be like, well, this guy's smart. Like, he strategically planned this all out. But if yeah. he went to, like, King's College or, uh, <laughs> or, uh, where did, or, uh, where did Slattery go? Stockton. If he went to, like, Stockton oh, yeah. or something, I'll be like, no, no. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, it's like it's there's so many colleges it's in California? Pennsylvania no, so many colleges so if you went to one of the other ones that wasn't you Ben probably, probably not that cool I like how in deep thought you are with this yeah I just, I'm just trying to think yeah. well, let's give the kids something cool at home do you have any songs written at least for the next album anything new we have a new song coming out for Vagrant's putting out a Guitar Hero pack. That's fun. Yeah, we did um, a song for Guitar Hero, and Heath and Garrett tried really hard to make it as impossible to play if you're not a guitar player. So it should be pretty funny playing it on Expert because it's pretty. It, it's a lot of stuff you really can't do on Guitar Hero because it's a lot of picking that you really don't incorporate into the game. So it should be fun. So that comes out in like July. We're putting out a box set, a vinyl box set That's cool. for Warp Tour. So. All right. That's pretty much what we got going on right now. Anything else you want to add before I go and I don't see you until we're 29? Um, good luck with everything. You know, Thank stay you. stay healthy. And um, I'm sure I'll see you at Warped Tour, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to talk shit about you online. See what yeah, your yeah. Uh, retaliation is. Nothing. No. No. I don't, don't want to retaliate against people that are weaker than me. No. I love you. It's okay. <laughs> Let's give a hug. Thank you again. <laughs> Thanks, man. Nice to see you.